too. Got a 1984 Dodge Daytona Turbo Z. Still running, past smog, has no problems. Uh, if we're looking at it right now, uh, let's go through the points of restoration. Uh, obviously, it's it's a keeper, something you want to keep running and try to get into shape. Uh, so obviously those tires in the front, those are rims that aren't matching. So uh, buyer, I mean seller, sold the original ones and some extra ones and good tires. So got plenty of stuff to make it back to stock. I'm missing the emblems on the back. Um, so if we're looking at the points of restoration, we already got two. We're counting all tires issues as one package. Uh, other issues with it is uh, exhaust leak. Uh, it's got an exhaust leak, so it's going to wait a few days to find out what it's going to cost to repair that. It's got $260 in late fees plus $140 registration, so about $404 in total. Uh, maybe the math is incorrect there, but uh, it's 404 for total. Uh, it's going to need side molds. So let's look, look at the side moldings. Alright, so if you see the side moldings right there, that is missing. Uh, it's really hard to find. I found one side molding that um, it's not an exact match, but it'll fit and need to be repainted. But uh, we'll need some alteration to get it going. Uh, we got this window needs to be repaired in a better way uh, definitely not a clean look obviously the paint uh, actually this hood when I got it was really nice and either it had manufactured defect that they said with the hood will, where it'll pop open randomly or else we forgot to shut it before it took off and nonetheless the hood popped open and almost snapped off on the freeway so I don't know if you can see those dents right there, but it was able to get back into place. Uh, but unfortunately, the coils on the inside had kicked in forward. So I couldn't actually get it back down without removing them. So I was able to remove them, push up the hinges back, and then drop the hood and lock it. And then uh, the repair of bodywork will have to come later. Fortunately, the under the hood has a double layer, so you're not able to just pop the bump out. It's gonna have to be suction cupped out or uh, pulled out a different way. Uh, definitely paint. Paint is an issue. If we go into the interior, that's gonna be a whole new can of worms. But it's actually pretty good for the age and considering it's all all regular. So fabric is all worn, some faded, some tears on the side. Uh, it's missing speaker system. Besides that though, it is pretty good functioning and working. It does have the novelty pump few of you can make jokes out of, but lumbar support still works for the pump. Driver's seat is intact for being original. Uh, back seat and driver's seat uh, look like they had some use or wear, so they are covered with uh, old school uh, perfect fit fabric lining. And uh, besides that, let's get inside. So here we go. We've got the old classic uh, 80s retro synthwave type of dash setup with the turbo. That's the coolest thing about this car is this is a turbo 2.2 liter four cylinder. And it definitely has some kick. Uh, AC still works, surprisingly, the AC works. It has roll-up windows for being a luxury car. It's kind of interesting. Uh, let's go back to some points of restoration. We do have this fabric lining right here that is torn. And we do have this uh, side mirror that is, or the side panel that is cheaply uh, bandaged together. So that's something that will be likely to clean up. Dash was in surprising good condition, but it does have these little sticker things. It looks like if you take them off, they're gonna look like a ruined little square. So I'm thinking those might be useful or salvageable to put other things on, or new new desk, new uh, new roof. Ah, it's tongue tied. Uh, new new dash panel, dash cover. Uh, okay. Anyways, 
really cool checkerboard panel but it is wearing and you can see on the uh, passenger side it's already torn uh, there's those coils that popped out of the hood uh, they were luckily easy to push out they just popped out once they were under some pressure uh, if we look at some other things um, pretty gross but when it shuts it doesn't look so, look so bad and uh, yeah so this car uh, it looks like it's got a long ways to go it's gonna need this cheap thing that's stuck to it you can hear it it's real stuck so I'm gonna have to try to loosen that up without ripping the original leather um, besides that it's a really cool car nice little hatchback it's kind of comfortable to put all the uh, seat down get the, you know I was able to fit four tires back there that's pretty cool and uh, it's a four-cylinder it does have some kick and a nice little retro panel it's supposed to tell you when the doors open Let's see if it works Yep, see look, tells you that the door's open. Pretty cool. It's supposed to talk to you, or some of them are supposed to talk to you, this one doesn't. Uh, but let's start it up, let's see what it looks like under the hood. It's definitely gonna need some, uh, you know, touch up things, because it hasn't been running in five years or so. Like it, it bent pretty good, so it looks like some of this stuff can be restored or salvaged. I mean, God, these parts are hard to find on this thing. But in all spots, it looks really good. It runs really smooth. This transmission and engine, great. I said there's a lot of issues with this car, and. Uh, it looks like the original owner kept it most of its life before letting it go, which seemed to be to a donation auction. And before that, uh, it sounded like there was a gasket issue and transmission issue. Uh, transmission fluid looks really clean, so it looks like there was some type of rebuild or fix with that. Uh, oil was black as can be, but we put some new oil in and I'm going to be giving it another oil change because we put some mixer in there to kind of loosen up all that grit. So we're going to try to get a lot of that flushed out in two oil flushes back to back. And it's going to need belt, it's going to need coolant, it's going to need a water pump, it's going to need a few things. But man, this thing's a classic. It's really beautiful to see, even in beat condition. And uh, real, real interesting four cylinder. Not something you see every day. All right, well, also needs a rear mirror. That's one more point we didn't add to it already. So we are gonna see what this thing turns into in a few weeks. Gonna see if we could even get it registered that's going to be one uh, one big obstacle but let's see if we could even do that but this thing's a beauty i want to save it love synthwave music and man that is the epitome of what you would see an idolized driving into to the music anyways all right hope you guys enjoy and see what this project turns into